Hey, this is a quick demonstration of transparent single sign-on using Microsoft's Active Directory Federation Services, or ADFS. Um, so I'm using a Mac, but the same is true on a, on a Windows machine. Um, so first thing um, we're going to do is just um, take a look. So, so I've base principles, I've got no Kerberos ticket. So the first thing I'm going to do um, is do a K in it, and um, this will prompt me for enter my password. Uh, I can do this with a number of different ways. You can have the um, machine go off and get Kerberos tickets when you unlock the machine, etc., etc. Windows machines automatically go and get their Kerberos tickets. If you're not familiar with Kerberos, it's a separate discussion, but this uses DNS to identify where the Kerberos um, ticketing server is, which is your domain controller. Get your Kerberos tickets, and, and any service you go and access will challenge for Kerberos, and you will obviously go off and go back to the ticketing server with this ticket, what we call the ticket granting ticket, and uh, and pass that through. To get your service ticket. One of the service tickets being for Active Directory Federation services, and that's what gives us the transparent single sign-on. Um, I've got the um, Zscaler um, app installer in my um, my downloads directory, and so what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to run the um, the installer downloads folder, um, the install builder script, and I'm going to pass it um, two parameters. The first one is my domain, which is welshgeek.net, and my second one is the the cloud that we're going to sign into Zscaler 2. The customer instance might not have uh, multiple clouds. I do. I'm, I'm my welshgeek.net exists on every. Zscaler cloud, so it's important that I pass that credential through. Um, because we pass these credentials through, what it'll do is it'll automatically try and enroll the, the account. That'll trigger the um, redirection to the ADFS server, and because I have a Kerberos ticket, um, I, will, uh, I will automatically sign in um, to the ADFS server. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and do that. So um, asks for the administrator account. Um, if you were deploying with SCCM, you wouldn't need that or, or anything like that, um, you know, whatever your uh, your tools are. And you'll see, you know, it's just gone straight to the, the system tray. It's automatically enrolling. It's gone through the, um, the SAML authentication. Again, user hasn't been prompted. Um, and then we're ahead and we're, we're enrolled. If we open this up now, you can see it's pulled all those credentials through for internet access and private access. Go back to the, the the command prompt. Let's take type K list here. You can see my Kerberos ticket was was grabbed. You see it went from the ticket grant to just having the ticket grant in ticket to also having the service ticket for the ADFS service. Um, went off, got the ADFS ticket, presented it to the ADFS server, gave me my transparent single sign-on. So very quick demo, really easy to show how a transparent single sign-on works with uh, Zscaler Private Access.